we've always been very focused on the safety part of health and safety. Um, the focus has very heavily shifted now towards health, and occupational health and well-being in particular. Um, and looking at yeah. emotional well-being or stress. Um, and you know, the industry, you know, recipe for safety was revised. And the conference tends to, you know, focus on those subjects in significance, but also, you know, looking at, you know, um, equipping the safety transition so they're more effective, so they're more rounded, so they can deal with boardroom situations. Um, well, today, one of the things I want to talk about is a little bit of that sort of um, root cause and uh, symptoms. So. A lot of times people just keep covering up the symptoms thinking they're actually solving something, but they're not. Um, so it's a bit like the tackling in head injuries in, in kids. Um, but also the whole context of uh, understanding the difference between trying to be focused when you're trying to do work and say to critical situations. But if you become focused, you've got to think about awareness. If you become aware, you're not as focused, you've got a real challenge of how you do it. And so it's just um, trying to raise some of those uh, sort of thoughts and of course, how do you manage people when they do something wrong to get the best out of them in the future rather than dis you know, disenfranchising them or demotivating them? The primary issues for food drink at the moment are the musculoskeletal disorders, occupational lung disease, particularly in some industries like the flower. Um, you know, we have a lot of engineering workshops with dust and a lot of factories are noisy and so on and so on. And it's a very stressful environment. It's very, fast moving products, some of the products with a very, very short shelf life and the supply to demand, so it's, it's quite an interesting challenge.